Hui Yunche should not have appeared in this world. As the second sequel to the Doloa Continent series, the book, Peerless Tang Clan, has been heard by even those who are not interested in reading novels. I just didn't expect that one day, she would also catch up with the trend of time travel and come to this novel world with Hua Tang San's established son. In law, the Peerless Tang Clan's biggest rival, and the vested interest of the soul, Yu Hao, as the protagonist. Hui Yunche said that if she had known today early, she would have diligently flipped through this book several times and had to memorize it proficiently. P.S. Join the main character group, with OOC character design. Characters outside the main character group may have some modifications, keywords of the novel. Dolua 2. I dress up as Hui Yuhao's biological sister without a pop-dot-up window, Dolua 2. I dress up as Hui Yuhao's biological sister. Download the complete text, Dolua 2. I dress up as Hui Yuhao's biological sister. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Introduction. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Introduction What a large palace-like building, with golden glazed tiles shining brightly in the sunlight. On the main archway, which stands five zhang tall, there are three big characters. Duke's Mansion Two figures that were out of place with this huge mansion covering an area of over 3,000 acres quietly appeared at the back door on the north side, peeking at the entrance as if calculating something. The dazzling golden light may have burned the eyes of the guards, or they could have turned a blind eye. In short, those two thin and grey figures, with what they thought was their exquisite, stealth, skills, finally managed to escape from the esteemed and prestigious duchy like abyss. The two thin and dusty figures were the female protagonist Hui Yunche and her twin brother Hui Yuhao, whom we had travelled through. They look only eleven or twelve years old, and the girl is even younger. Young Hui Yuhao was dressed in a simple grey cloth jacket, although it was covered in dense patches and even shortened, it still maintained a clean state. He carried a small bundle on his not-so-strong arm and a thin little girl on his back. If teenagers are thin and weak, then girls can only be described as weak. The pale little face is hidden under the withered yellow hair, with some obvious scars on the body, mottled and dazzling. Hui Yuhao quickly ran to the corner with his sister on his back, as if afraid of being chased by the people inside, and suddenly stopped. He turned to look at the duke's mansion, his deep blue eyes revealing a strong hatred. Brother, cough cough, why don't you leave? Did they catch up? The girl's eyelashes were slightly fanned, and when she opened her eyes, she had the same blue eyes as her brother's. However, her blue was lighter, like the color of the sky, and more pure and clear. As the words fell, she began to struggle to get up. Don't worry. Hui Yuhao raised his hand and caressed his sister's little head, stopping her struggle. He took a deep look at the duke's mansion again, turned around, and ran north without hesitation, missing the fleeting red light in Hui Yunch's eyes behind him. Mom, please watch from the heavenly spirit. No matter how much effort I put in, one day my sister and I will come back intact, trampling everything here under our feet, avenging you and my sister. The duke's mansion will definitely pay the price for her actions. Hui Yuhao ran forward, but his eyes gradually turned red. You should know that no matter how early he matures, he is just an eleven or twelve-year-old child, a child who should have been carefree and unrestrained, but has no mother and has to lead a life of escape with his sister. Mom. Mom, don't worry, I will definitely live well with my brother. I will let that woman know that even without the power of the duke's office, your two children would still be better than her two children. One day, I will stand at the top of this continent and correct your name. Hui Yunche closed her eyes, covering the bright red that was surging in her eyes. She was immersed in memories of the scenes that had happened since she had memories, constantly flashing through her mind, in theory, she shouldn't have appeared in this world. As the second sequel to the Doloa Continent series, the book, Peerless Tang Clan, has been heard by even those who are not interested in reading novels. I just didn't expect that one day, she would also catch up with the trend of time travel and come to this novel world with Hua Tang San's established son. In law, 
the peerless Tang clan's biggest rival, and the vested interest of the soul, Yu Hao, as the protagonist. If she had known today earlier, she would have diligently flipped through this book several times, and had to memorize it proficiently. Unfortunately, there is nothing known early in the world. Her positioning of her twin brother in the original work was only a title she came across by chance, which she had searched through her memory for a while before finally remembering. The siblings were born on a thunderstorm night eleven years ago. Dragon and Phoenix twins, even in the Duke's mansion, are a very rare and precious thing. Moreover, the mother of the siblings, Huo Ling, and the Duke, already had a childhood sweetheart. If it weren't for the difference in status, there might not have been anything for the Duchess. However, blessings and misfortunes lurk. Huo Ling was an orphan picked up on the battlefield when the old duke was alive. Seeing that he was of similar age to his son, he let the two children grow up together. He said he did not take her as an adopted daughter, and his treatment in the duchy was also evident. Both of their martial arts were personally taught by the old duke. Huo Ling saw it in her eyes and remembered it in her heart, and after the death of the two elders, she repaid the duke twice as much. The two grew up together, and everyone in the duke's mansion believed that Huo Ling would be the future duchess. It wasn't until His Majesty issued a decree that the most beloved young daughter of the Star Luo Emperor became the duchess, and Huo Ling became the duchess's concubine on their wedding day. The side chamber is the side chamber, and Huo Ling seems to never care about the changes in her status. She knows that everything she has does not belong to her, and she only wants to repay the two elderly people who raised her to the best of her ability. Therefore, she does not argue or compete. As a result, she lived peacefully with the Duchess for many years, watching her give birth to her eldest son and then her youngest. When the mother of the siblings was not yet pregnant, they mostly traveled with the Duke. The duke, representing the Star Luo Empire, went out to fight, and she followed her left and right to fight against the enemy, her spiritual eyes shining brightly, when the duke returned to the mansion to enjoy the happiness of family, she would stay in the yard, tending to flowers and plants, or doing some small hobby of sewing and patching, until she was tested pregnant, and disaster soon came. The duke once again represented the Star Luo Empire on a military expedition. This time, pregnant Huo Ling could only stay at home to raise her child and could not accompany her. Before the duke left, he specifically instructed the duchess to help take care of him, which ruined the situation. Huo Ling was already favored by the duke because of her childhood sweetheart, and has always been envied by the duchess. It was okay that she was not pregnant, but this pregnancy became a thorn in the duchess' side. In addition, this promise became the last straw that overwhelmed the camel. Let's get a unified response from here, okay in the original work of Hui Yuhao's mother, it is Hui Yuna Hui Ling from Kanji Kanji is private everyone no longer needs to worry about who Hui Yuhao's mother is by Yubiu, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Twin Students You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Twin Students As soon as the Duke left, the Duchess drove Huo Ling to live in the firewood shed, citing her illness. Huo Ling originally wanted to resist, but was surrounded by the Duchess and her companions, giving her a choice. To drink abortion pills or abolish her martial soul. For Huo Ling, whose martial soul is a spiritual eye, abolishing her martial soul is equivalent to gouging out her eyes, but she still did so without any hesitation. As an orphan, how could she be willing to harm a child connected to her own bloodline? Since then, she has never seen the duke again. Even when the duke asked, the duchess took Huo Ling's life with her due to a serious illness. The damage caused to Huo Ling by abolishing the martial soul is undoubtedly enormous. Her originally strong body collapsed overnight, and the chill brought by being imprisoned in the woodshed gradually invaded her body. Fortunately, the child in her womb was stubborn, and daily fetal movements became the only comfort in her heart. After the birth of the dragon and phoenix twins, the duchess cut off all their sources of income. The maidservants who used to deliver food to them every day still couldn't bear it. They always quietly fed or prepared food for the guards at the door, so that the three of them could have a little time to go out and see the sun every day. 
And this is the only scenery that a dragon and phoenix can see before the age of six. But this is not a long dot term solution. How can a maid's salary support four people? Huo Ling tried to find some work to support her family, but she was a woman who was blind and couldn't leave the yard, and still had two starving children. She could only negotiate with the guards and pray that they would turn a blind eye. She could help the servants in the yard wash clothes, and only requested that she and the children fill out their stomachs every day. Hui Yunche and his brother grew up to the age of six in such an environment. The children of the poor take over early. At the age of two, the two little guys knew how to help their mother with work, wash some lightweight items, and were obedient and sensible. Xiao Hui Yunche played to the advantage of being a milk doll, smiling at people and sweetly coaxing the guards in the firewood yard to laugh uncontrollably, which allowed the mother and son to live a slightly light and happy life for several years. It was not until the age of six that the Duchess summoned them on a whim, and Hui Yunche realized that the day of awakening his martial soul had arrived. And that day, it became an eternal nightmare for the Hua family mother and son. It was also on this day that Hui Yunche realized that his soul had pierced through the Dolua continent, and he was the younger sister of the protagonist Hui Yuhao of Dolua II. Their father, Duke Baihu, never even knew about their existence. She didn't know what was wrong, which led to her brother Hui Yuhao, the recognized descendant of the White Tiger Duke, who was not welcomed by the Duchess but was known to the Duke, as well as her mother, who was a noble son, being hidden and assassinated in this lifetime. Why did her mother, who was originally a background board maid, once possess extremely high military power? Brother Hui Yuhao's martial soul, like the one she is not very familiar with. Ling Mao Is judged as a useless spiritual attribute martial soul due to its only level 1 soul power and extremely difficult to obtain matching attribute soul rings. If that's all, it wouldn't bring catastrophic consequences to their family. The problem lies with Hui Yunche. Innate soul power, unknown weapon and martial soul, a simple and slightly bronze-colored door. Hui Bi Gui, no matter how unknown the martial soul is, the existence of innate soul power confirms Hui Yunche's talent and unpredictable future. Little Hui Yunche knows well that the Duchess cannot let her grow. As soon as she returned to the dark little woodshed, she pulled her brother to support her mother and hid in a small cellar in a deserted yard near the woodshed. That day, due to the need to awaken the martial souls of the siblings, the original guards were on vacation, which happened to facilitate the escape of a few people. On that day, the hustle and bustle of the duke's mansion lasted for a whole night, with cries and begging for mercy echoing in one's ears. Even the real child Hui Yuhao tightly covered his mouth and cried silently. They knew that those voices were all from the attendants who had been tolerant to them before. However, they were able to escape for a while, but this vast duchy still couldn't escape. Fortunately, this abandoned cellar was originally used for storage, avoiding the fate of the mother and son starving to death. After about five years, Hua Ling finally passed away in the torment of illness. The only thing she couldn't let go of was the two children who had been stumbling on her feet. The siblings are already eleven years old this year. After hiding for five years, Hui Yuhao's soul power has finally reached level 10, and Hui Yunche has reached an astonishing level 29. Over the past five years, her martial soul, the unknown bronze door, did not have any soul rings attached, but she still harbored a secret that only her mother and brother knew. The Twin Martial Soul The offspring of Lingmo and Evil Mao White Tiger, mutated and capable of generating soul rings on their own, is the second martial soul. Evil Mao Of course, she did not tell her family the truth about her martial soul, but casually mentioned that she had the same spiritual eyes as her brother. It is thanks to the first soul control technique of evil eyes that they were able to successfully hide in this abandoned courtyard for five years. Over the past five years, Hui Yunche has become more proficient in controlling his soul. At first, he could only control the souls of people who were 20 levels higher than his own soul power for 5 seconds, but now he has 30 seconds, which can be described as a rapid progress. 
the impact of mental exhaustion was much greater than she had imagined. Excessive mental exhaustion and long-term malnutrition, coupled with her saving the majority of her food for her brother and mother, and occasional fights with people who almost discover them, forced them to gaze into their own eyes, control their souls, and erase their memories. As a result, she is not as tall as a nine-year-old doll now, and her body is covered in blue and purple marks, mottled and dazzling, making Hui Yuhao hate his own weakness countless times. Under the pressure of life, their mentality also grows much faster than their peers. The siblings discussed and decided to cremate their mother's body on the day the Duchess celebrates the successful admission of her young son to Shrek College in a few days. They fled the arrogant and impolite abyss of the Duke's mansion with her ashes, and the family will soar together. Now, they have finally left the White Tiger Duke's mansion. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Northbound You are listening at NovelFull.audio This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. 4. Chapter 4 Starry Stars You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Starry Stars, 50 miles ahead, you will enter the Star Doe Forest. There are soul beasts lurking, please be careful. Finally arrived. Starry Forest. Can you finally take the first step to rewrite your destiny? Hui Yunche and his sister looked at the behemoth in front of them with some confusion. In this quiet and secluded place, they didn't know how many soul masters who were more powerful than them had been buried. Can they successfully obtain what they want here? Brother, let's go. Amidst nervousness and a hint of unease, Hui Yunche reached out to grab the white tiger necklace on his chest, took a deep breath, and walked forward with firm steps. Anyway, becoming a soul master is an inevitable choice for her and her brother to embark on the path of cultivation, becoming a soul master is also their only way to defeat their enemies, which is the obsession in the hearts of the siblings. They will never allow themselves to regret or waver Starry Forest. We. Here we go. Something's wrong. It's too quiet. On the outskirts of the vast and boundless Starry Forest, there is no shortage of various groups of ten-year soul beasts. However, since Hui Yunche and his siblings stepped into the forest, they have not seen any soul beasts. Along the way, there were either trees, flowers, or blue-silver grass everywhere. Only the cautious and gentle footsteps of the siblings echoed in the forest, and even the occasional wind passing through was silent. This is not right. A slightly strange feeling appeared in the minds of the siblings. Hui Yunche and his brother Hui Yuhao exchanged a glance, and their hands clenched the daggers held at their waist, ready to go. Brother. The warning function of the spirit eye successfully left a way for Hui Yuhao to survive. With the flow of soul power, the dagger in his hand was thrown out and his body quickly fell to the left, leaving only a golden phantom in his slightly bright eyes. That should be a golden butterfly with a misty purple airflow permeating its body, extremely fast. Even its spiritual eyes could not capture the complete image, and could only vaguely perceive the extreme danger contained in its beauty. Hui Yunch's pale face flushed with nervousness and anger, almost losing her brother who relied on each other. Bloodthirsty crimson permeated her blue eyes. As a variation of the spirit eye, the evil eye, although not like the spirit eye, acts on the spirit and has full observation and alertness to the surrounding environment, it directly affects the soul. All living things in the world, as long as they have a soul, cannot escape the perception of the evil eye. At this moment, its most obvious function is positioning, which is also why Hui Yunche can timely provide reminders when soul beasts appear. The petite figure rushed fiercely towards the open space on the side, and the dagger thrown by Hui Yuhao at the soul beast that seemed to be a butterfly was not useless, but mostly a contempt for ants. The dagger thrown blocked the trajectory of the butterfly beast's flight, leaving a shallow scratch on its wings, and also won Hui Yunche a few seconds. Shit. The cold light was piercing down, and I saw it about to prick the fragile and fragile neck of the butterfly beast. Yay. 
the butterfly beast seemed to also feel the threat posed by the cub in front of it. It suddenly opened its big mouth, and a golden flame spewed out from the butterfly beast's mouth, rushing straight towards Hui Yunche's face. Hui Yunche could only forcefully stop his body and roll, relying on his strong resonance with his soul. The dagger in his hand pierced through and hit him. However, some of the curled daggers did not seriously harm the butterfly beast as Hui Yunche had hoped. They only left a scar about an inch long on its butterfly wing, with blood gushing out and dripping onto the ground. In just a few breaths, the blue-silver grass on the ground quickly withered and withered, leaving no trace in the end. Toxic. That misty purple airflow was actually the poisonous gas diluted out of the butterfly beast's body. Pop it up. Pop it up. The nervous heartbeat sounded clearly, and Huiyunch's pupils shrank slightly, making his breathing noticeably faster. The enemies she faced this time were different from those she had faced before. In her few, desperate battles, she had always secretly attacked and controlled them with evil eyes, evil eyes, evil eyes, to create conditions for evil eyes. Hui Yunche licked his slightly dry lips, his eyes fixed on the butterfly beast. The palm holding the dagger was already covered in sweat, and even if he had planned to brainstorm, he was still constrained by the threat in front of him, feeling somewhat helpless and unsure of how to deal with it. Still the pot with too little combat experience. Shoo! Fist-sized falling stones rained down like raindrops on the location of the butterfly beast, and it was Huiyuhao. Huiyuhao, who had no dagger in his hand, knew that he was just causing trouble for his sister when he stepped forward. However, he couldn't watch his sister fight with the soul beast while he watched the play on the side. He looked around and took local materials, picking up the scattered gravel around him that had been trampled by some soul beast. With the blessing of his spiritual eyes, the accuracy of the stones he threw was extremely high. Although the damage was only scratching the butterfly beast, the wounds on the butterfly wings that he hit several times also annoyed the butterfly beast whose head had been hit by a few small swollen bumps. Yay! The butterfly beast suffered losses several times in the hands of two bipedal cubs, and its temper also rose. It disregarded its still bleeding left wing, spread its wings, and in an instant, a strong wind blew everywhere. The siblings were carried by the strong wind and flipped in the air, bang, fiercely hitting the giant tree behind them. Cough. Intense pain swept through her body, and the dagger in Hui Yunch's hand had already fallen into a corner when it was wrapped in the wind. She struggled to get up, but fell to the ground fiercely due to the intense pain. Hmm. The butterfly beast in the distance had a fierce light in its eyes and quickly rushed towards Hui Yunche. In its perception, this female cub was far more threatening than that male. Are you going to die here? Hui Yunch's face showed despair, and the butterfly wings shining with cold light magnified before her eyes. In just a few seconds, it seemed like a century had passed. Hmm. Hui Yuhao rushed over and hugged his sister's body, blocking the butterfly beast's blow with his not too thick back. He only felt black in front of him and lost consciousness in an instant. Brother. Hui Yunche held her brother's sliding body in a daze, holding on to the wound on his back with her small hand, attempting to block the continuously flowing blood. However, her hand was too small, the wound was too long and deep, and there was no possibility of blocking it. Hall. The playful laughter of the butterfly beast came in my ears. Hui Yunche carefully placed Hui Yuhao on the ground and suddenly looked up. Second soul skill, split soul. Split soul. Split soul. I want you to bury my brother. Split soul, as the name suggests, tears apart the soul. In the past, Hui Yunche used to think that the second soul skill of evil eyes was too eerie, and the damage to her soul would bring about some changes, especially for a completely torn soul. In theory, her soul would be completely shattered, and every time she used it, she would always have an addictive feeling, so she could not use it. But today, she can no longer manage so much. Split soul. Split soul. Split soul. Yay. 
Sensing a eerie and deadly danger approaching, the instinct of the soul beast to seek benefits and avoid harm made the butterfly beast turn around and run away, ignoring the need to kill the cub in front of it. At this point in the battle, Hui Yun's spiritual and soul power had basically both triumphed, and she only relied on her perseverance to avenge her brother to persevere and not fall. She must be. Yes. Watch. Butterfly Beast. Death. She grabbed the tail feathers of the butterfly beast and, relying on the breath in her heart, climbed onto its body. With a small mouth open, she used all her strength to bite its neck. Yay! The dual biting of soul and body, even the butterfly beast, is unbearable in pain. It flips its flight direction and frantically collides with the giant tree next to it, attempting to knock Hui Yunche down. But what it didn't know was that at the moment Hui Yunche bit her neck, she had already lost consciousness, leaving only the instinct of her body. Therefore, it was destined to die in this catastrophe created by the human cubs it despised. The fresh blood and the poisonous gas needed to maintain vitality were consumed by the offspring behind them, and the butterfly beast finally hit the ground with its head. A purple, slightly black halo floated out of it. This butterfly beast is actually a soul beast that has been around for a thousand years and is about to evolve into a soul beast for ten thousand years. Hui Yunch siblings, who were both two ring and one ring soul masters, were born and died of a millennium soul beast that was about to evolve for thousands of years. Never heard of it. Of course, this may become a secret that even their siblings don't know. The bronze-colored phantom flashed by, and a purple halo with a hint of black seemed to be pulled down, merging and transforming, starting in Hui Yunch's unconscious state. At the same time, the unconscious Hui Yuhao also had his own adventure. Finally, I met a human with a spiritual attribute. Unfortunately, I can't shed tears, otherwise I would have shed tears all over my face. Too weak, too weak. This is a bit too tragic. I'm so pitiful. How many seals do I need to attach to myself in order for your weak body to bear it? This smart soul ring is really not easy to handle. After wandering around, Tian Mengu still appeared on stage with the biggest cheat of Yu Hao, the established son. In. Law of Hua Tang San, the peerless Tang clan's biggest cheat ratio, the vested interest of the soul, the million year soul, Tian Meng Ice Silkworm. Waha, anyway, I'm finally liberated. Those bastards who treat me like food, you don't have a chance. Wahaha. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 First Encounter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 First Encounter, Bebe, this way, the clear and pleasant moans of the young girl rang out, and if the siblings were still awake, they could see it, two young people, who appeared to be around 15 or 16 years old, emerged from the forest. In terms of appearance alone, the unexpected appearance of this stranger who looks like a couple can be said to be very pleasing to the eye. The young man had short dark blue hair and a lazy and gentle smile on his face. Even as he walked through the messy trees, he still maintained elegance, especially in his golden pupils, which were filled with the delicate appearance of the girl in front of him. The girl walking in front seemed to be wearing a couple's outfit with a young man, dressed in a strong blue outfit, with a slightly swaying ponytail. Her delicate face still carried a hint of anger towards the young man, and her beautiful eyes could even make the young man behind her stand still. Ah! With a cry of surprise, a figure instantly accelerated and came to a stop next to the siblings. Bebe! Come and save someone! You boy, I girl! The girl bent down and carefully pulled Hui Yunche out of the butterfly beast's body, but the teeth that tightly bit the butterfly beast's neck left her feeling a bit confused. Bebe briefly treated the wound on Hui Yuhao's back, helped him up, and fed him some water before putting it down. He turned around and picked a fresh leaf from the tree, filled it with a little water, and handed it to the girl. He then propped up the butterfly beast against Hui Yunche, leaving room for the girl to save him. Give some water a try, Xiaoya. Tang Ye carefully inserted the sharp corners of the leaves into Hui Yunch's lips, 
and the clear water slowly dripped from the leaves into his mouth. Sleepy Hui Yunche felt a sensation, his lips and teeth slightly parted, successfully separating from the butterfly beast, the human beast. Damn it! I didn't bring enough medicine. Tanya helped Hui Yunche up from the ground and looked at the dense blood, bruises, and scars on her body. Even though all the medicine on her hands had been used up, almost half of the area had not been properly treated, with a look of depression and worry. Bebe went to the side of the butterfly beast and flipped over its body to study it. These two little guys are really lucky. This is the five elements poison butterfly phoenix, which is rare even in the entire continent. Look at the scorched black on the ground and the scattered branches and fallen leaves. This is clearly the poison butterfly phoenix, who has awakened the second of the five elements, at least at the level of a thousand-year-old soul beast. Strangely, the poison and blood in his body have disappeared. Bebe returned to Tanya's side and squatted down to re-examine the condition of his siblings. To his surprise, although the two little ones had many wounds on their bodies, there was no trace of poisoning, which could be considered fortunate in their misfortune. However, he glanced at Hui Yunche, who was drowsy, and there were still dried blood stains on her lips. She shouldn't have been exposed to the poison of the poison butterfly phoenix at all. Although everyone has their own opportunities, they still need to find an opportunity to make a detoxification pill and feed it. Bebe lightly raised his right hand, and a powerful soul power roared out. The two daggers that fell in the distance fell into his grasp. Two ordinary daggers with rolled blades. Bebe looked at the two obviously elderly daggers in his hand, and with some astonishment and helplessness, he raised his forehead and sighed, it's really a newborn calf that doesn't fear tigers. When they wake up, I will definitely talk about how brave they are. Tanya's willow eyebrows stood erect, and with some concern, she tore off a piece of cloth from her body to moisten it. She gently wiped the two of them and said, if we come earlier, maybe we can still save them. Even if it's not going well, we can still take them back with us. Bebe looked at Tanya, who was worried, and his gaze became softer. What he liked most was Tanya's heartfelt kindness. Don't worry, it's not a fatal injury, it will be okay. I know. Tanya's eyes closed slightly, and her bare hands gently caressed Hui Yunch's pale face. I just think of my parents, she said Bebe's eyes showed more tenderness, and he bent down and lightly rubbed Tanya's head with his big hand. His gaze looked around calmly, silently guarding her side. Bebe, when they wake up, if it's appropriate, let's absorb them into the Tang sect. Tanya's emotions come and go quickly. She looked up at Bebe with starlight in her eyes, as if Bebe couldn't bear to refuse and only wanted to give her everything she wanted in the world. These two little guys, whose clothes have turned white after washing, are reluctant to change. They are also from the starry forest alone, and most likely have no other family members besides each other, so they are risking everything. Moreover, they remain steadfast in danger, which proves their character. If they join the Tang men, even if there is a slight bond. Even if there is a hint of bondage, they wouldn't set aside life and death like they do now, would they? Bebe took over the conversation and lightly tapped his index finger on Tanya's forehead. If it's appropriate for them to wake up, please ask teacher Xiaoya to take in an extra junior brother and junior sister for me. Uh ha oh, asterisk asterisk, oh hmm. Hui Yunch's consciousness gradually returned, and she felt like she had a dream. In the dream, she fought against the butterfly monster with her brother, and eventually died with the butterfly monster. But the physical pain and mental depression told her that it was not a dream. Is this not a dream? Brother. She struggled to open her eyes, and what caught her eye was her brother's warm, silly, and silly smile, which gradually, gradually, and widely spread in front of her until she was carefully hugged. Bad girl. You scared me to death. Hui Yuhao tightly hugged his younger sister's small body. He was so afraid that her sister would never wake up again. The waiting process was agonizing every minute and every second, almost losing the feeling of family again. 
He was really, really scared. Brother. Hui Yunche felt the trembling that Hui Yuhao was trying to suppress, and obediently reached out his hand to embrace him. His small face rubbed against his chest, which was a blessing for his survival and also a tearful expression of his kindness to life. Looking up again, there was a beautiful smile on my face. Brother, I'm back. Just come back. Tangya and Bei Bei witnessed the happy reunion and deep affection between their siblings, both smiling at each other. Under the sunset, they didn't know which two of them held hands tightly, showing deep affection. Ake, let me introduce you. This is Sister Tanya, and this is Brother Bebe. It was Sister Xiaoya and Brother Bebe who saved us. Hui Yunche looked at Tanya and Bebe, oh, two great beauties. Thank you, Sister Xiaoya and Brother Bebe. Hui Yunche obediently stood up and bowed solemnly to the two of them, then smiled and said, Sister and brother are both so beautiful. Perfect match. Ha 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 ha, Zayansh is right. Bebe, you look so beautiful. Upon hearing this, Bebe could only dote on Tanya, who was laughing profusely. She shrugged helplessly and said, As long as teacher Xiaoya is happy, I also think we are a perfect match. You. What are you talking nonsense in front of the children? Tanya's cheeks turned bright red, as if dyed with rouge. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Tang Men You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Tang Men, Cough, Let's Get to the Point. Tang Yame's angry eyes gave Bei Bei a satisfied look as if she had stolen the fishy fox, and then turned to face Hui Yunch siblings with a serious expression. Her slender fingers avoided some small wounds and kept lightly tapping on their heads. You two little ones are too brave. Do you know how dangerous the starry forest is? If it weren't for us passing by, you two might never wake up again, do you know? It's not allowed in the future, do you know? Hui Yunche and Hui Yuhao exchanged a glance, and they coincidentally reached out their hands, grabbing Tanya's fluttering clothes from left to right. The chicken pecked at the rice and nodded incessantly. The scene was unexpectedly harmonious and warm, and if we ignore the occasional glances of the two little ones floating over to ask for help from Bebe, it would be even more warm. Bebe leaned his back against the trunk of the tree, his hands around his chest, and his half-closed fox eyes were filled with a smile. It had been a long time since Xiaoya's parents had an accident, and he had not seen her completely let go of her worries and have no grudges. Thinking about it, his two future junior brothers and junior sisters had to accept it, and he didn't know if these two little ones were willing or not. Thinking so and so, he lazily straightened up and clenched his left hand on the edge of his mouth. Cough cough. Tanya was passionately interacting with Hui Yunche and his siblings. At first, Bebe was so engrossed that he forgot what he had said. He could only angrily stare at Bebe, but Hui Yunche and his siblings filled their minds with a cold sweat they had wiped off their forehead in the void and smiled gratefully at Bebe. Cough cough, teacher Xiaoya, serious, what's the big deal? What I'm talking about now is the big deal. Oh, oh, oh. Tangya was lost for a while, then suddenly realized something and finally remembered her previous grand ambition. Zayayunch, Zayoyuheo, do you have any plans next? Hui Yunche and Hui Yuhao both shook their heads in confusion. Sister Xiaoya, my brother, and I no longer have a home. In the story my mother told us before, it was mentioned that in the starry forest in the north, we could obtain the soul rings we needed, so my brother and I came. We want to cultivate. We want to become stronger. I just didn't expect that soul beasts are much more powerful than we imagined. Hui Yunche clenched her lips with some unwillingness. During her years at the Duke's mansion, although life was very difficult, she managed to avoid crises time and time again with her brother and mother, which gave her an undeserved sense of complacency and pride. Even before encountering the butterfly beast, she had never truly felt her weakness and powerlessness. The awkward situation where she was clearly burdened with a treasure trove but could not demonstrate her due strength made her eager to become stronger. 
Dong. Pain. Tanya's beautiful hand knife perfectly shattered the various strange self-blame emotions in Hui Yunch's small head, leaving only the little girl holding her head with both hands, tears streaming down her face, and looking at her with sorrow. Hui Yu Hao chuckled as he pulled down his sister's hands holding her head, his index finger gently swirling around it. He couldn't help but recite comforting words from his mouth, be good, the pain has flown away. Hui Yu Hao knew that if it weren't for himself, his mother, and his sister's ability, she would have left the cannibalistic duchy early on, but she didn't. My younger sister has been smarter than me since I was young. She takes care of her mother and him as her responsibility, especially after the awakening of her martial soul he sees it in his eyes, pain in his heart, if it weren't for his incompetence. Now, he finally has the capital to protect his sister, that's great. Bebe secretly remembered the expressions of the two little ones in her heart. I believe that the days after Tangmen will be lively. Tang Yayan watched as Hui Yunch's emotions returned to normal and asked with a smile, Zaya Yunch, Zaya Yuheo, if you don't know what to do next, should you consider joining our Tangmen? Tangmen. Upon hearing the words, Tangmen, both Hui Yunche and his sister's bodies couldn't help but tremble. At the age when they could still pester their mother to tell stories, Tang men appeared the most. The Tang clan, which is towering and several times taller than the White Tiger Duke's mansion, and the Tang clan that once saved the mainland from fire and water, is the holy land that siblings yearned for most when they were young. The legend of the Tang clan dates back thousands of years to the era when there was a fierce competition among multiple gods. It is said that the first Tang clan leader, Tang San, broke through the title Dolua and achieved the dual god body. It can be said that without Tang men, there would be no Dolua continent today. However, as time passed, Tang men gradually faded out of people's sight and only existed in historical records passed down from generation to generation, or as a story passed down by mouth like the mother of the Hua siblings. Few people still know what Tang men looks like today. So when Tanya mentioned the Tang clan, the siblings were so shocked. Of course, what Hui Yuhao didn't know was that Hui Yun's shock was more due to the ecstasy of finally stepping onto the main storyline, which was the Tang clan, the unparalleled Tang clan. Do you know Tang men? Tang Yame's eyes widened slightly, indicating that the fact that the siblings knew about Tang men had given her great surprise and psychological comfort. When we were children, we heard our mother tell stories about Tang men, but we heard that Tang Men hasn't appeared for a long time. Hui Yunche nodded, his eyes still dimming uncontrollably when he mentioned Mom. It took her two lifetimes to have a relative Hui Yunche quickly tidied up his emotions, his deer like eyes blinking at Tangya, which relieved Tangya's slightly astringent mood. Only the slightly red eyes revealed her momentary restlessness. The foundation of the Tang clan has been taken away, and the mansion is no longer there. However, our fundamental cultivation methods are still in place. Currently, there are only me and Bebe in the Tang clan. I am the current leader of the Tang clan, and Bebe is my founding disciple. That's why Bebe calls me Teacher Xiaoya. Bebe coughed lightly and further intensified his persuasion. You should have heard of the top Shrek Academy in the mainland, and our Tang men have a small privilege there. This year's enrollment has ended, but our Tang men have two exemption spots and can transfer classes. If you are willing to join our Tang men, this spot belongs to you. As for whether you can stay at Shrek Academy, it depends on your own efforts. Tang men plus Shrek Academy is a great temptation for two newcomers who have just entered the world of soul masters. Hui Yu Hao hesitated for a moment, stopped his sister's restless thoughts, and said, So what do we need to do after joining the Tang men? You need to constantly improve your cultivation and become stronger. When our sect needs it, you need to contribute to it. Tanya put away the smile on her face and looked at her siblings' eyes solemnly and seriously. If you are willing to join Tang Men, you must remember that one day you are a member of Tang Men, and you will always be a member of Tang Men. If you want to quit one day, you must return all Tang Men's unique skills. Otherwise, even if you are crossing mountains and seas. Before Tang Ye could finish speaking, 
Hui Yunche scratched Hui Yuhao's palm with his fingertips. Feeling his brother's response, he took a step forward and grabbed Tang Ye's slightly cold hand, making a solemn promise that seemed to be an oath. There won't be such a day without my sister climbing mountains and seas. You. Hui Yuhao also followed his sister forward and looked at Tang Ye seriously. Sister Xiaoya, we are willing to join the Tang men, he said, okay, great. Tanya looked at the two with a smile on her face, looking very satisfied. Since that's the case, we might as well meet another day. Zayayunch, Zayoyuheo, come on, master. We are the only four of us in Tang men now, and there aren't many rules. You worship me once and call me teacher. From now on, Tang men will be your home. Tanya said solemnly. Home, what a beautiful word. Hui Yunche and Hui Yuhao exchanged a glance, then nodded, suppressing the surging emotions in their hearts when they heard the word, home. With a thud, they bowed in front of Tanya. Disciple Hui Yunche, pay respects to the teacher. Disciple Hui Yuhao, pay respects to the teacher. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Soul Skills You are listening at NovelFull.audio this translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 8 Mandala Snake You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Mandala Snake Wow! Zayayunch, you're amazing! Tanya hugged Hui Yunche excitedly after listening, and it was another crazy pasting Hui Yunche finally enjoyed the gift of love and covered his slightly red face with both hands, looking up at his brothers and sisters in front of him. Ong. Um. I just forgot to mention that using the Imperial Gate to cast soul skills comes with a 10% defense bonus, while the Dharma Gate comes with a 10% spiritual power bonus. Also, summoning objects consume soul power, while soul skills consume my spiritual power. Not a big problem let Bebe fill up your tongueman's unique learning package, Tangya smiled and pinched Hui Yunch's blushing little face, then casually threw the pot to Bebe. She was only responsible for sticking sauce with her cute sister next to her. You know, who wouldn't like the soft and sticky cute sister sauce? Yes, teacher Xiaoya, Bebe accepted the task with a smile, he loved Tangya's lively appearance. Tang clan senior brother Bebe, Although he may seem lazy in his daily life, when it comes to doing things, it's not just about being serious. He has a refined appearance and a very gentle and meticulous personality. When explaining Tangmen martial arts to Hui Yunche and his siblings, he tirelessly explained every detail in detail. When encountering something that two little guys didn't understand, they were able to explain it in simple and clear terms. The siblings, who had never experienced this before, quickly fell into a frenzy of thirst for knowledge and quickly immersed themselves in the strange martial arts of the Tang sect. Time passed unconsciously, and although the few people who became soul masters stayed up all night, with the blessing of Hui Yunch's second soul skill, their fatigue could be said to be almost non-existent. After a brief rest, a few people embarked on a journey to find a suitable soul ring. With Zaya Yuheo's spirit detection sharing, we may be able to challenge the soul beasts with the most suitable soul ring age for absorption. Years Hui Yunche and his siblings looked at Tangya in confusion, which was a new concept vocabulary they had never encountered before. Except for a few soul masters with strong luck who can obtain a red 100,000 year soul ring in the last ring, the optimal soul ring ratio for the vast majority of soul masters is yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 and black. For example, my first two yellow soul rings are 400 years and 900 years, respectively. The blue-silver grass quickly released from Tanya, who was explaining, and wrapped around Bebe, Hui Yunche, and Hui Yuhao's waist. Two halos rose from Tanya's feet at the same time, with a bright yellow rhythm up and down. Normally, the third ring that I can withstand should be around 3,000 years old, and the fourth ring should be around 7,000 years old. The closer the age of the soul ring is to my own endurance, the greater its power naturally becomes. Speaking, Tanya glanced at Hui Yunche, who was still somewhat confused, 
and said, cough, cough, but Zayensh can't use common sense to calculate. After all, how can ordinary people be compared to perverts? Be careful if there is any movement. Bebe's face suddenly changed as he explored the road ahead, and his right hand suddenly lifted up. The first soul skill, Thunder Dragon Claw. The right arm, instantly covered in blue and purple scales, swung down, leaving behind a dense blue and purple power grid to stop the soul beasts that were peeping in the dark from killing. In the flickering purple light, it also reflects, it's a mandala snake. A thousand-year-old mandala snake. There is an ancient record. Mandala, born in spring and long in summer, has a single stem that rises straight and is four or five feet tall. It does not grow on the side and has green stems and leaves, like eggplant leaves. In August, white flowers bloom with six petals, resembling morning glory in large. Mandala flower is highly poisonous. The mandala snake, as a companion guardian beast of the mandala, is hostile to all people and animals who step into the mandala territory. Unlike other soul beasts, if a mandala snake wants to increase cultivation, it must feed on mandala fruit and drink mandala honey. And the mandala fruit is harvested every five years, and the highly toxic energy contained within it is unknown, let alone the mandala snake that has been cultivated for thousands of years. Although it was a bit tricky, it didn't scare the Tangmen master and disciple from Shrek Academy. Especially Tangya. Tangya appeared extremely excited, her soul ring had landed, and there was nothing more suitable for her than a thousand-year-old mandala snake. The first soul skill, Blue Silver Binding. Countless blue silver grasses rose from the ground, in the words of Huyun Che, just like the legendary Neza she had seen in her childhood when she bound the old dragon king with mixed sky silk. However, the red mixed sky silk was replaced by the current blue silver grass, winding and circling throughout the entire body of the mandala snake, tightening and embedded in its shiny silver scales. Bang! Beating the snake and hitting seven inches is an unchanging experience passed down from ancient times. The thunderous dragon claws fell in response, and the condensed thunder and lightning struck heavily on the seven inches of the mandala snake. The fine blue-purple electric light flickered, penetrating down from the deadly spot of the snake. Ah! The bound snake only felt numb and unbearable all over, and its fatal weakness was a burning version of agony. The pale purple poison gas spread out from the border of the scales of the mandala snake, and the blue silver grass that bound the mandala snake was eroded inch by inch, almost instantly spreading on the blue silver grass. Hmm. Tanya had to sever the connection between the blue silver grass that controlled the mandala snake. The mandala snake, breaking free from its bondage, rose into the air and once again hid in the green trees and forests, secretly watching. It has to be said that Shrek College is truly the first college in mainland China. From the appearance of the mandala snake to its hiding again, in just a few seconds, it is enough to see the rich combat experience and tacit cooperation of the two. Be careful, everyone. This guy is very difficult to deal with. Bebe did not release his martial soul possession status and was vigilant in observing the movements around him. The first soul skill, shared spirit detection. Hui Yu Hao felt a bit guilty, he didn't react immediately. The lack of over a decade of soul teacher education has made his reaction and observation abilities weaker than those of Bebe and others who are not spiritual series martial souls. He can only do his best to do what he can at this moment. Hui Yunche saw all of this and reached out to hold her brother's tightly clenched fist, without opening her mouth to comfort or say anything. In the deep blue eyes, a faint golden light once again appeared, and a sparkling white soul ring rose from under my feet. Giant wooden trees, camphor trees, magic vine grass, purple ear flowers no, no, still not got it. What is that? Mandala flower. A large amount of information appears in everyone's minds. The hidden mandala snake stayed not far from them, watching, or in other words, the mission of the guardian beast made him stay there at the farthest. Bebe stared at the mandala snake, and his mind remembered the distance between him and the mandala snake, 
as well as the changes in the strength of each muscle on the mandala snake's body at this moment. Bebe's eyes were clearly extinguished, and he felt a bit distressed. It was not difficult to defeat the mandala snake, but the territory of the mandala flower was considered a forbidden area for humans. Xiaoya's blue silver grass was not immune to poison. What should he do? Should he give up? Hui Yunche Ovo, who noticed Bei Bei's thoughts, happily raised her little hand. Senior brother, I have a way to pull out the mandala snake. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Shuri Guang. You are listening at novelfull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. 10. Chapter 10 Transactions. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Transactions, I want to make a deal with you. A slightly childish voice appeared in Huiyunch's sea of consciousness. She blinked a bit strangely and then shook her head towards her brother and master brother, indicating that she was temporarily safe. What transaction? At the moment of Nirvana, I felt the call of the Northern Ice Sheet. My body is rapidly weakening. I want to go back to the ice field. The body of the Five Elements Poison Butterfly Phoenix after Nirvana is only the size of a fist, but the prayer and sincerity in its eyes do not seem to be fake. Why me? Hui Yunche tilted his head in confusion. The Five Elements Poison Butterfly Phoenix cannot return to the ice plane. In my few memories, the Five Elements Poison Butterfly Phoenix was only a part separated to bear the curse. You have devoured my blood and poison, and have become bound to me. I can temporarily reside in your sea of consciousness. In return, I can offer you the soul ring of the five elements poison butterfly phoenix after its nirvana. Sacrifice. Isn't that a soul beast that can last for 100,000 years? Hui Yunche opened his eyes in surprise, which seemed to contradict her cognition. I am a special existence. And the soul ring that I voluntarily sacrificed is of a growth type. The five elements poison butterfly phoenix administered a powerful medicine. Hiss, it's growing. It has to be said that Hui Yunche was very tempted. How can I trust you? You can use the martial soul that killed me to sign a soul contract with me, and I will not resist. Evil eyes. Soul contract. Hui Yunche blinked. How could his martial soul still have this effect? Mmmmmmm, that's a good usage. Okay, I promise you. From an angle that Hui Yuhao and Bei Bei couldn't see, the red light in Hui Yunch's eyes flashed away. The soul gate of the five elements poison butterfly phoenix is open without any defense. However, Hui Yunche had no intention of prying into her privacy and only wanted to quickly manipulate her evil eyes to fall into the soul covenant. She did not want her eerie evil eyes to be exposed too much in front of others. Fortunately, the newly reborn Five Elements Poison Butterfly Phoenix has not completely healed the soul trauma suffered by the broken soul. It already has some unstable souls, and in addition, it is only a soul fragment in a clone. Both sides have passed the soul contract with a sense of danger. What Hui Yunche didn't know was that if the soul power of the Five Elements Poison Butterfly Phoenix was stronger, she would be the person who was betrayed by the contract, and could only be said to be a skilled person with courage. Contract, reached. A wonderful bond appears in the perception of one person, one beast. I have at most five years left. Please do your best to grow. The face of the Five Elements Poison Butterfly Phoenix showed a humanized smile. It didn't know if the human in front of it could fulfill its wish, but it was the only choice it had. It closed its eyes, as if it had already seen the beauty of returning home in the future. Yay! The wind and fire surged, and the phoenix shadow that rose up in the sky seemed to shout towards heaven, leaving a nostalgic gaze towards the far north. Then, without hesitation, it turned around and plunged into Hui Yunch's body under the protection of Dunshan. Purple light shines brightly. Leaving only one burning fly ash. A gentle breeze gently swept the falling fly ash, heading towards its desired north. 
It seems that we have achieved all our goals this time. Bebe looked at the two figures on his left and right, shrouded in purple light, and lightly patted Hui Yuhao's shoulder. Yuhao, take a break. I'll keep an eye on it from now on. Upon hearing this, Hui Yuhao put away his previously open mind detection sharing and sat down cross-legged. The soul power that just broke through the first ring is still too low. The constantly open spirit detection sharing not only greatly consumed his soul power, but also continuously consumed his spiritual power. He had only just trained the purple extreme magic eyes for a while, but fortunately, due to the integration of the heavenly dream ice silkworm into the expanded spiritual sea, it has allowed him to persist until now. However, he is quite satisfied. He finally has some use. He is no longer the waste that could only be protected by his sister before. Although he was still far behind his sister's pace, he finally saw the dawn that could protect her. Click and wipe. The shackles and gears that had been suppressed deep in his heart were twisted out of a corner, and the breakthrough in his mood brought about a huge change in his strength. The windless automatic clothes corner confirmed the significant increase in soul power. Level 18 Continuously crossing six levels of soul power improvement. Bebe, who was watching the whole process, said. Gone. This time, only I am the big enemy of emotions. Truly deserving of being two siblings with abnormal soul skills and cultivation. Bebe reached out and pressed the corner of her mouth that was about to twitch, her eyes filled with a gentle smile. Watching all three of them fall into a state of deep cultivation, Bebe, as the guardian, cautiously used his soul power to build a power grid around him, and also took local materials. He collected a lot of venom from the dead mandala snake and applied it to the prepared hidden weapons. Everything is ready. I only owe the east wind, of course, it's best if the east wind doesn't come. Ah, 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 ah. I succeeded. Tanya opened her eyes and jumped excitedly from the ground. With the stimulation of her soul power, the once again changing blue silver grass quickly climbed up from her feet. The purple soul ring bestowed by the mandala snake gave blue silver grass a mysterious and noble color. I also succeeded. Huiyunche was also quite excited as she opened her eyes. Her journey to the starry forest not only unlocked the secret of her martial soul, but also added all the soul rings she needed in one go. The first three rings were all purple which was unprecedented. Coupled with the growth potential of the third ring, she couldn't help but be excited and moved. From this moment on, Hui Yunche and Tang Ye's strength has completely entered another level. Bei Bei smiled and said, Xiaoya, junior sister, congratulations to you. Tang Ye cheered and pounced on him, giving him a big hug. Bei Bei, thank you. Bei Bei hugged her delicate body, with a slightly spoiled smile on her face. I promise to help you realize your dream and I will definitely do it, she said Tanya leaned against Bebe's embrace, but accidentally saw two pairs of big eyes looking at her in surprise, and the two were still whispering to each other. Brother, I'll just say that teacher Xiaoya is a perfect match for senior brother MMM, it's really a perfect match. It's a perfect match. Tanya blushed with embarrassment and suddenly felt a sense of shame towards a mischievous child. She quickly broke free from Bebe's embrace and, somewhat embarrassed, said to the two of them, You continue, don't interfere with my gossip, in their eyes. What are you looking at? Haven't you ever seen a teacher-student relationship? Hui Yuhao and Hui Yunche shook their heads and honestly said, I haven't seen it before. Hey! You guys! Tanya shyly stomped her feet, turned around, buried her head in Bebe's arms, and gestured to Bebe like a quail to deal with the two cubs in front of her. Bebe coughed with a smile and said, All right, since your soul ring has been absorbed, let's quickly leave here. Okay, under the afterglow of the sunset, the four of them turned around and froze as they left. If you look closely, the petite little one inside seems to have been scratching his back all along. End of this chapter